provided a chart that kind of shows our enrollment and staffing. Um, it can be a challenge at Joel School. I know we're the first ones coming into uh, the district. And Mr. Cross does provide us with our uh, enrollment numbers and what our projections will be looking like. Um, but every once in a while, we get that odd year um, where we get that enrollment number, as we did a couple years ago with kindergarten, which just created that large bubble. And I think there's a number of factors that impact us that we just have no control over. For us at Joel, parents can elect not to send their children to kindergarten. If they feel their child is too young, they may choose to select them to stay home. They may also send them on. So that has a direct impact on our numbers. We also are looking at the real estate market and, and seeing how many numbers of houses are on the market and not knowing who's going to be purchasing their home. So that has an impact on that. As a principal, class size at our level is extremely important. Um, it's important for the younger grades due to this is a time they're developing oral language. There's behavioral needs that come into place. There's developmental <coughs> needs across the board. And the kind of, what kind of previous academic exposure do they have and how can we adjust our settings so that they can then rise to the level of what's going to happen. It's really about educating the whole child. It does have a whole impact on numbers. So looking at the numbers, 2011-12, okay, we're looking at a similar combination as we did this year going into the 2012-13 year. In kindergarten, we had 152 students and we were looking at nine teachers. You can see the breakout for this present school year. We're looking at 145 students still asking to have the nine teachers. And we'll have more classrooms, so 16 minutes. 17, but it's still the ratio is about the same. So we're not looking to increase both at pre-K or K. In grade one, we presently have that large bubble, 182 students. Um, we have 10 teachers who we are presently asking to cover those. Our enrollment for grade one will go down. We're estimating 150 students for next year. We're proposing to reduce the number of teachers that we have by two. So we're looking at eight but we're still keeping our class size in check. The bubble, 182 students in grade one, moves into grade two. So hence, what we have now, 143 students, now moving up to 182. So we're looking at increasing two, student, two teachers at that level. And for grade three, we are looking at reducing by one teacher and looking at our class size 23, 24. So overall, we have 663 students who are presently in our school. Our projections are, are to be reduced to 659. We're looking at reducing our teaching staff by one. We are looking to maintain our intervention, with the maintain for literacy support. And I wanted to provide just some numbers out there when it comes to our literacy uh, support. Um, right now we have three literacy folks that are responsible, if I were to do some ratios, it's one literacy person to 220 students responsible for learning. If I look at the teachers and what we are looking at literacy folks to do with coaching, I'm looking at a ratio of 1 to 11. And when it comes to student intervention, I'm looking at ratios of 1 to 27 based on the students we presently have. The next piece is our math interventionist. Right now, under SRBI, we can fill that void for math, we can fill that void with behavior, with writing, and with reading, but we can't fill the void that we are presently experiencing with our math intervention. We are looking for two things in this person that we are hoping to have. This person is going to be responsible for several things. One, we would like that person to be able to provide professional development to teachers in a school-based setting. We would like them to assist teachers in aligning their teaching practices so that their appropriate standards and curriculum and assessments are all in place. We're looking for this person to support teachers, to collaborate with them in analyzing information and student work, and to be sure to help the students with their learning. We want them to monitor the progress of struggling students and offer suggestions for interventions. We would like them to develop and implement schedules for math intervention, as well as provide interventions. I know it's a tall task, but under SRBI, right now, we have Tier 1 instruction happening in the classroom. 
We have tier two instruction happening in the classroom, more intense. What we don't have is an interventionist who specializes in math that can provide our teachers with the help that they need to ensure the children are meeting our expectations. So they have a dual responsibility, a coach to help all teachers and all children, but also to help at an intervention level for those students who are of greatest need. So here's the budget highlights. Um, this slide basically represents the comparisons of the four major areas of the Joel budget. At Joel, besides our salaries, instructional materials and operating expenses remains high, but still a decrease over last year's request. Textbooks and libraries is just up slightly, and the next few slides will provide some greater details of what we're looking at. Under textbooks, we have a total account of 6963 which is an increase of $835. What we're looking at is to continue to increase our guided reading books in the teachers' classrooms, so that teachers have direct access to the books as they're teaching children but as well as our book room, which is right across from the office, which affords every teacher an opportunity to go in and, and take books at the reading level. We're also looking at increasing our Spanish storybooks for world language and nonfiction and science and nonfiction. Under our library account, supplies, periodicals, the de Destiny software, that all remain the same. It did not go up at all. We would like to increase in our book room looking at an increase of $510. And it's important for you to take a look at the little chart that's presented there. Even though we're asking for an increase of $510, we are still below the number of books per student. Presently, Joel School has approximately 23 books per student. At the district level, all of our schools are looking at 29 books per student. And at the state level, it is 29 books per student. So we are looking to at least maintain what we presently have. We're not looking to close the gap at this point, is at least to maintain. We have reduced the media budget. Basically, it says a decrease of $500. We're reducing that to zero. We're not seeing media as being as important of a need for our students. But we have created a new, not a, a new line to the district, but a new line to Joel's school, which is media software. That line has always been zero. We're increasing it to $1,000. That's to provide us with opportunities for staff to be able to go online and visit sites such as the Enchanted Brain or Brain Pop, which would benefit all of our students. Our instructional supplies is basically equally um, overall um, spread out. So the graph doesn't really show the picture that I wanted to show. There are $88,234 that we are requesting. That is a decrease over what we have requested for last year. Our decreases of that $4,792 is coming from copy paper. And I have to also thank John Provo for our new copiers and we're seeing that reduction. We are also trying to reduce our copy paper costs by, we started a new thing at Joel School, which the first newsletter went out to hard copy. We asked the public, would you like a hard copy? Would you like to have it sent electronically to you? Or at least have access to it online? So the remainder of our um, school year newsletters will be online. And we also just piloted trying sending them out through the email addresses, which we had a little bit of a, a bump in the road there, but it did work out, and we're seeing positive results with that right now. So we do think copy paper will be down. Envision Math is down for our materials to keep that going. PE is down, and our bulk supplies. This next slide shows operating expenses. We have basically maintained a zero increase on office supplies, postage, dues and fees, printing and publishing, and health supplies. The remaining accounts are shown on this slide. Up slightly for staff development, training and in-service, and software maintenance. And the decreases, again, are showing under photocopying and repairs and maintenance. 